Hey everyone, Church of SDFU. I'm going to try to keep it brief. Um, I know I always say that, but I really will. Um, so a while back I actually made a video on on advertising and how I thought it was a bad idea because it actually distorts markets. So even if you're in favor of free markets, even if you're a capitalist, even if you're a neoclassical uh, economist, uh, in my view you shouldn't support advertising because it tends to distort information and perfect information or very good information on part of uh, on behalf of the participants is usually the assumption uh, for making a market efficient and without it the market is inefficient and useless um, and I think that's a kind of I just want to bring up that point again also in light of the kind of recent discussion I was I made a video as a part of which was about objective truth um, and so my position is we can't really know objective truth we can try to approximate it but we can't really ever be sure but there's of course another fundamental problem which is just that even if there were some kind of a source of objective truth and we could verify that truth was objective unless it's like matrix where we just plug in and get all of the stuff right into our brains if it actually takes a lot of study and a lot of time then humans still won't have access to the subjective truth at least not all of it because we can only learn so much we can only uh, delve into so much of that information and that knowledge so if that is the case which it is clearly the case today so today you may be working in a job you have to study for that job and then you might want to be an informed citizen so you read up a little bit on economics and politics and psychology and anthropology and you try to build this kind of understanding of the world uh, but at, at best you're only going to be scraping the surface of a lot of these areas and that's that's inevitable because there's just too much accumulated information so in the end you're gonna have to rely on experts uh, you're gonna have to rely I mean you can rely on an expert that just tells you that's how it is or maybe you know if you're more if you want a deeper understanding then you're going to read up say a book on the field and that's going to be an expert summarizing the field for you and talking about all of the research that's been done in that field and explaining it but even in the second case that is still coming through that experts um, subjective kind of interpretation so the expert could have uh, their own slant on things their own bias or maybe they're you know maybe they're really trying to be unbiased but they're just you know inaccurate about s things um, or they don't do a very good job in communicating it in, in either case you're still basically at their mercy and the likelihood is they're not going to be able to give a perfect uh, summary an objectively perfect summary of the field um, even a relatively small part of the field so you're going to be stuck with trusting an expert but it's not going to be uh, that experts understanding is probably not going to be perfect um, but we have to trust these experts because we don't have enough time so the question then becomes what how wh what you know why are these experts doing what they're doing um, and there's a big problem if these experts are doing what they're doing and directly benefiting from the direction that they put the information so for example um, if you're say an expert on on Oh, let's pick an issue uh, on some health issue and the pharmaceutical industry is gonna you know support your research then you probably have a big interest in the information turning out the way they would want it um, and then convincing people to buy the drug or uh, believe them or you know whatever uh, not believe that cigarettes cause cancer something like that so in that case if the, pr the expert is actually directly benefiting from the direction that their expertise takes then we have this huge conflict of interest that's going to be very disruptive uh, to the objectivity of the information and the big problem with that is 
because we then get non-objective information or like even if you assume you can't have objective it's going to be even f further off the mark than it might optimally be then we're going to end up in a situation where we the consumer we the voter we the whatever are going to be making not just uninformed but misinformed decisions and that's really quite terrible and I think that's what goes on a lot of the time it obviously I mean I would say it obviously goes on in the marketplace because advertising distorts these things and it's not just advertising it's lots of different marketing techniques it's the way the media talks about things uh, these all distort uh, the way that we perceive products, the way that we perceive services, um, and really takes away that opportunity to make informed consumer decisions. The same thing is, I, I would say, clearly true of politics as well. All of the spin, all of the uh, distortions by media, by the parties themselves, by the money that backs one side or the other, um, it really has this huge impact so when you're watching when you're watching this or that news channel which has all of these interests behind it um, then you're going to be getting a very slanted view and you're not going to be able to make a decision a, a, an informed decision so to me we should really be treating information and knowledge as kind of sacred things we should reject anyone that tries to that tries to directly benefit from the direction of the informational knowledge which they are seeking to transmit. So if we see a doctor that's, you know, that's taking money from a drug company, that doctor should never be allowed to do a study again. If we have kind of a a news channel that is buying itself, it, it could it could be for example, it could just be literally just buying, you know, getting money from some group or something, but it could be more subtle than that. It could be buying access to people that are big shots so that it could seem more important. Um, it could be doing little things like that. So if you see your favorite news channel, they probably treat politicians with velvet gloves so that they can get them to come on more. Um, and of course, the news channels themselves also rely on advertising, and the direction of that advertising has its impact. If we spot any of that, we should say, nope, you can't do that anymore. We're going to go and we're going to take get our information from a source that's not directly benefiting from the direction that the information takes. Now, that's, you know, that's if that's not going to be perfect. Even, you know, even a an unbiased provider of information can still be wrong and can still be incompetent, but it would be a big step forward in getting out of this rut where I think we're in right now, which is there's so much interest in distorting all of the information that the better the system works because that just increases the powers that want to distort it the more it's bre it breaks itself down in the long run so i really think that we should be trying to get inf to get information into into kind of common hands we should be looking at it as the sacred thing and i think the university the public model is a good model it's not perfect but it's a good start um, and yeah I mean I think we should try to avoid people having people directly benefiting off the way that they provide information and I think more broadly speaking that should be true everywhere if you're doing some specific thing then you should not be able to profit off what direction it takes. It's like if you're, say, you know, if you're in in charge of finding a supplier, you should not be able to profit uh, from the supplier themselves because otherwise you're going to get bribed. I think it's much the same thing that goes on with information. People essentially get bribed because they slant information one way, and I think that needs to stop. Church of SDFU, I'll see you guys all later.